All right, welcome back, everybody. Have you ever felt like you were kind of overreacting with emotions when you're upset? Trauma from your childhood can have lasting effects that you don't even realize. Yeah, Anna Runkle, a.k.a. the crappy childhood fairy, is the author of Re-Regulated, Set Your Life Free from Childhood PTSD and the Trauma-Driven Behaviors that Keep You Stuck. <laughs> she is joining us live now to talk more about this. Anna, welcome back to the show. We're happy to have you here. Thank you, Kara. Thank you, Scott. Good morning. All right. I got to be honest with you. Left alone in the hospital bed. I think I was two and a half, three years old. Parents were not allowed to stay overnight with their patients when it, when I was, this was 1960, 1967, and parents weren't allowed. I still remember that scene to this day, and it kind of, mm -hmm. it, it, it haunts me. I mean, I, I think that's where a lot of my 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 uh, issues come from mm. my my tether to my mother still to this day you have a very strong umbilical cord. but seriously we all have these things that you might remember but what do you because you teach me a little bit different like really what is uh some of the chaos and the overwhelm we're dealing with really could go back to these early childhood traumas yeah what we know now is that early trauma like abuse and neglect can cause changes in your nervous system. So a lot of stuff that each of us have battled all our lives thinking, what's wrong with me? Why do I overreact to things? You know, why do I have such a hard time staying focused or following through on things or getting along with people? A lot of it actually might be trauma related and mm. connected to this, what's in effect an injury to your nervous system and how you process information and how your body handles stress. Can you define trauma? What, what, what kind of traumas are we talking about? Well, you know, as people are often will say, hey, everybody had trauma, and that means small t trauma. But there are some traumas such as being hit, abused, mm -hmm. sexually abused, abandoned, uh, totally ignored emotionally. Your mom was drunk. Your dad was high. People could not pay attention to your emotional needs as a kid. Kids have to develop a workaround, which is part psychological and part social. But because it's happening early in life, there's something that's happening to development. And it can often, you end up being an adult. You've learned to be a fighter. You've learned to uh, mm. keep your life together at all costs. But there's these, these moments where it comes through, where something stresses you out and you feel discombobulated or numb, or you blurt things out that hurt other people's feelings. And you're feeling so numb that you only recognize it by looking into their eyes and seeing that you've hurt them. And these are the things that destroy marriages and destroy relationships with children and destroy careers and opportunities. And all of this can go so much better when you learn how to re-regulate your nervous system. Wow. That's what's amazing about your book. It's called Re-Regulated. So I think sometimes people think, oh, I have a trigger and, you know, maybe all clutter and chaos or unexpected things, I'm going to lash out. And you're like, why did I lash out? But we don't always have to. We can. How do we begin rewiring those reactions? Yeah, I sometimes giggle when people say rewire because, of course, there are no wires. It's a metaphor, and it's actually us. It's our bodies, and your nervous system is something that reacts with um, to a stimulus. And so we use the word trigger very loosely in our culture. But when I say trigger, I'm talking about a thing that sets off dysregulation, which means your brain waves and the systems that your nervous system uses to govern your immune system, your vital signs, your, um, you know, everything that goes on in your body and your cognition, that starts to get a little off kilter. So you'll have trouble focusing or remembering. Uh, it may change your hormones. It does do that. It can change, uh, it can make you extremely prone to autoimmune disorders. So it's, this is not like a quick fix. And people are mm. often like, hey, what do you do to fix it? There are, there are like short-term things you can do to get more re-regulated. And those would be things like you can stomp your feet. You can take 10 deep breaths. You can press your tongue to the back of your teeth. Anything to give a little jolt, a little reminder cold showers, go outside and move your body. These are all good things, but you also need long-term sustained healing so that you can start to develop new patterns, not just in your conscious patterns, but give your body the space to sort of come back together and do what it's designed to do, and which I is govern your body and your systems. Can't teach an old dog a new trick, true or false? False. Okay. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
no worries there, but there are patterns. We get patterns. And uh, especially around like what you talked about, Scott, is getting abandoned in the hospital. Mm. And I remember that too. I was hospitalized as a kid. What a dumb rule dumb, and how terrifying that was. Terrifying. And that kind of thing can leave a scar. And complex PTSD, I call it childhood PTSD, but the real word for it is complex PTSD. And it can develop after chronic intense exposure to stress. And so that could be any number of things. You could be a kid, the hospitalization thing happened, and then maybe another child was sick and your parents couldn't pay attention to you and you got bullied at school. Or often it is the uh, witnessing violence in the house, being mm. the victim of violence, mm. moving to a neighborhood where nobody knows you or likes you or includes you. You know, these things start to add up. And this is what can start to generate complex PTSD, which starts changing the way things function. It's fascinating, and you are really um, gaining traction as uh, certainly a, a, an expert in this field, and we're going to take a deeper dive on the Carriage Cures podcast where we can really understand more from Anna's new book, Re-Regulated, Set Your Life Free from Childhood PST, PTSD and the Trauma-Driven Behaviors to Keep You Stuck. Uh, that start, you can get it, the book starting tomorrow, and we'll oh, take good. a deeper dive on the cool. podcast. Excellent. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time, Anna. Thank you. Yeah, you can also find her on Facebook and Instagram.